Well, you're going to have to excuse the mess around here. I didn't know you were coming or I would have cleaned up. I got a lot of projects going on right now. I'm in the middle of a lot of stuff. But I wanted to talk to you about these machines right here because this morning I was watching MWA Woodworks. He was talking about the fact that he gets comments on his channel about people saying, well, if I had $10,000 worth of tools, I could do woodworking too. He made mention of the fact that it took him 10 years to put together the tools that he's got. And it took me at least that long to put together the tools I got. But that does not mean you can't find good deals. So, let's talk about these two right here that were on clearance. This right here is a DeWalt planer. It's a 12 and a half inch planer. The original price was $549. It was clearanced to $494. Doesn't really sound like much of a clearance, does it? Well, we'll get into this a little bit deeper here in just a minute, but let's just say I didn't pay $494 for it. I paid a whole lot less than that for it. This is a disc sander and belt sander. Quarter cable. And the price on it was $249. And it was clearanced at $224. That's not much of a clearance either. But I didn't pay $224 for it. So let's take a look at these and I'll show you why I didn't pay that. And then we'll get into how much I did pay. All right, so here's the full story on this. $249 down to $224. My wife was in a big box store. She walked in. She walked past the clearance aisle. There was a girl that was working on the clearance aisle, and she was standing there. And as my wife walked by, she said, 90% off everything in this clearance aisle. My wife looked up, saw these two machines, and she sent me a message real quick and asked if I wanted them. And I said, absolutely, I'll take them. So if you can take a look down here, you'll notice that there's a really good break right there. One of the feet have been broken off of this sander. Now I'm gonna try to put like a plywood bottom on this or something and maybe bolt it to that. I may try to change out these rubber feet, the three that are there, and see if I can't find something that'll you know, get a fourth one, get four complete that match is what I'm trying to get out. So I paid $22.40 uh, for this. That's what I paid for this. So then we come to the planer. And as you can see, there's definitely something missing here. I will tell you that whenever I open this up, it looks great. But I'll see. I'll show you what I noticed over here. Not only is it a little dusty, I, I found the tools actually in the bottom underneath down here. But I don't know if you can see it. But there's foot tread on that, like tennis shoe tread on that. Like somebody was standing on it. Now I've checked it, and it all seems to be flat and straight. So DeWalt did a good job of building this. But somebody was definitely standing on this. So... It's missing the handle. I paid $50 for this planer. And for another 30, you can get a handle off of Amazon. So let's put this handle on and see if this thing works. All right, we got a handle. And somewhere in this bag is a little screw. So, it's got a flat spot right there. Should just be able to pop that on just like that. And then, get the screw. Where's the screw go? You might know where the screw goes. Oh. It goes down the center. How does it go down the center? Making sense? Alright. 
I gotta get a bit. Hang on a second. Well, that definitely works. Let's test this thing. Okay, that looks pretty rough. We can run that through. It's a little short, but it'll be alright. Is that supposed to be loose? Hmm. Okay, watch your ears. Well, that's oak. Came out pretty good. I would say this thing works. As for the sander, uh, I think I'm going to wait until I get this fourth leg resolved on this. Um, it's pretty unstable, as you can see. And with high-speed spinning things, there's no point in getting hurt by just trying to do a test. I plugged it in, so I do know that it works. I turned it on. But other than that, I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now, get it fixed, and you'll see it in a future video. Two great machines that I got really cheap. Now, there is a few other things that I did notice on these. This one here is missing the dust port. I looked it up, another 30 bucks probably for the dust port. I'm probably going to order it. This is a very good machine. I've still gotten this super cheap. So if you saw anything else on here that it was missing, let me know. But I think the dust port is it. This one, it is missing the table for this right here. Uh, it mounts right here. It's got a little indicator on this side here. Um, and that screw right there, this flips down. It took me a while to figure that out. I had to go download the manual because I couldn't, I figured it'd just be a simple lever or something, but it wasn't. I think it's also missing a dust port. Ah, you know what? Um, maybe I'll buy the dust port, but I'm probably not gonna buy the table. I'll build something out of plywood, like half inch plywood or three quarter inch plywood or something to put on here and just make a, a shop made table for it. It'll be fine. Other than that, these machines are incredible. You saw it working. I'm swapping out that rigid uh, planer for this one, and I'm going to go ahead and sell the rigid one. My wife definitely got lucky. She walked in at the right time. I mean, anybody could have bought it, though. It wasn't exclusive to her. $10,000 worth of tools. Ah, you know, I don't think so. If you can be in the right place at the right time. And the other thing you need to do is you need to tell people that you're going to be doing woodworking. I just had a friend of mine call me the, yesterday and offer me a lathe because he said he never uses it. He's into metalworking. He never uses the wood lathe and it's taking up space and wants to know if I want it for free. And I said, absolutely. I have no idea where I'm going to put that lathe, but I'm absolutely going to take it. I've always wanted one. And he's got the gouges to go with it. You need to let people know that you're going to do woodworking. When you walk into a store and you see something on a clearance aisle and it's missing a piece, talk to the manager. Hey, what would you take for this? It's missing parts. I promise you, they're going to drop the price like you've never seen before. Why? Because it's taking up shelf space and that shelf space is more valuable to them than this planer that you think is so expensive. It's not expensive to them. A little bit of house cleaning. I sold two more planner boxes um, for the pay off my credit card challenge. And I got a commission for two more planner boxes that are going to be bigger. 
and uh, I've been working on the table. That's going to be the two tables. That's going to be a separate video. But I'm just trying to work through this stuff and see if I can't get some of these projects out because I've got money hanging out there, but I need to get it in here. So I've got to get some projects finished. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these, you know, that's the mantra of this channel. Do the best you can do. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it as fast as I can. I got a regular job and I can only do this on, on, uh, in the, in the evenings and on weekends. So you don't need $10,000 worth of tools. You just need to find the right deals so that you get good tools. And there's tons of videos out there with people that, that have cheap tools. They bought the wind tools and everything else that work great. And they're not that expensive. You want to be a woodworker, then get after it. Start woodworking. You can build planter boxes with a circular saw and a sander, and you can sell them on Facebook Marketplace. If you watch this video, you'll see that that's exactly what I'm doing. And they're selling. Yes, the market is saturated. Will you sell? Absolutely. You got to price it right, but yes, they will. So if you wouldn't mind on your way out, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. That's going to be the end of it because I'm not doing any more.